In this tutorial, I want to talk about layer blend modes. And uh, what a layer blend mode is, is in your layers palette, what we've got here is these options right over here, which define how the layer blends into the layers above and below it. And they all default to normal. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and put this right back in there. And let's pop open an image here. So I've got a variety of images here I'm going to be working with. I'll show you uh, what we're going to be doing. And this first one here, though, I want you to notice I've got these uh, three layers here that are just gradients. I'm going to go ahead and send them all back to uh, normal. And I want to explain the three layer blend modes. Let's start with this first one here. These are gradients that occur from black to white. The first one that I want to talk about is the uh, multiply layer blend mode. Now watch, when I click multiply, it appears that the white disappears. And that's, in fact, what... Uh, actually happens. I, pure white pixels become completely transparent, leaving only black as 100% opa opaque, and all the grays, for example, 50% would become 50% uh, see-through. So the gradients go from solid black all the way to white, and the white being transparent. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, the last one over here, that's this one here, and I'm going to select not multiply, but in this case I'm going to select screen. And screen is the actual opposite of it. As you can see here, the black completely disappears and we leave white. So it's the mirror opposite. Okay, So black becomes completely transparent, white becomes opaque. 50% is 50% transparent. And then this last one here, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, overlay. And overlay, what happens is 50% gray becomes transparent, leaving black and white being completely opaque. Now, over uh, this particular image, it doesn't make a lot of sense here, so let me show you a couple of uses for it. I'm going to bounce here, and um, we'll start off with, let's see, one of these images. Let's start with this one here. So this image is relatively dark, so what I need to do is I need to recover and get a lot more of the whites in there. So I'm going to go ahead and, in my Layers palette, drag that layer down to my shortcut, which is Duplicate Layer. And on this one here, what I'm going to do is go ahead and set this set this layer to be screen. So let's turn the layer on and off. Clicking the eyeball turns it on and off. And you can see screen makes black disappear. So on this copy, what I did is I made a complete copy of all the pixels, but all the black or dark pixels are completely disappearing away. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. So you can see that's the original image there. So that's a real easy way to lighten up images there. So even if I take and I make another copy of that, now we can really see what's going on here. It's brightened up quite a bit there. Maybe a little too much. We're getting some pixelization. But you can see the difference here from the original image. And that's the screen layer blend mode. If you've got too much of that, remember you've also got the opacity slider. You can reduce the opacity uh, of that to uh, refine your effect there. Let's move on to the next one. This image here. It's a little washed out, so it, you know you can always use uh, some other techniques, but I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer and use a layer blend mode, in this case of multiply. And multiply makes all the white pixels completely disappear, keeping only the dark ones. So you can see it had the opposite effect there. It brought us quite a bit of contrast and color uh, back to this image here. So if the image is, is too washed out, maybe add a multiply layer. If it's too dark, a screen layer. And same thing here, you can adjust the opacity there to uh, get some finer controls. The last one I want to do is I'll go ahead and duplicate this one here, is uh, the overlay. Now when I click overlay, what you'll notice is it really gets rid of a lot of the grays and enhances the darks and leaves the uh, blacks and whites there. So this gives us quite a, a significant increase in that kind of early morning sunrise kind of type of look here. Uh, obviously if I needed to lighten it, I would go to screen, which gets rid of a lot of the blacks there. Now we can see here, and if I went the opposite, went to multiply, you can see the multiply makes the white completely uh, transparent. So it keeps just a lot of the darks there. So quite a few things that you can do uh, with layer blend modes. So that, once again, deals with black, gray, and white. Overlay gets rid of 50% gray. Screen gets rid of white. I'm sorry, screen gets rid of black. And multiply gets rid of white. So go ahead and play with these layer blend modes that allow you to enhance your uh, Photoshop images and further blend your layers together. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, be sure to check out all of our tutorials at 5minutetutorials.com and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.